Isamu Dyson is very interested in this box. And what lurks within? Another mystery box. Doesn't make any purring or meowing sounds, and that's a good thing. You can see that I've been treated like royalty. This was delivered by the Royal Mail, by air, into space. The YF-19 is still watching. It's a curious transformable fighter. Alright, what do we have in here? Got some bubble pack. That's good, those are always fun to pop. And, 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 and... <gasps> it couldn't be! But it is. You know what this means, don't you? That's not White Snake! What is this? It's time to hook up the PlayStation 5 to the Freemeister! Oh, and look, there's another bubble pack in there. That, that's good because I use these to ship things. Like that. So if you buy one of those, you could end up with these packing supplies. And by the way, that's a great album. I had that in high school, listened to it a million times, bought the vinyl. Ned's Atomic Dustbin, Godfather, highly recommended. Anyway, stay on, uh, let's stay on subject here as much as I can, which is usually not very much. 1991. Yep. It's a great album. Never really got the attention it deserved in the U.S. at least, uh, because Nirvana pretty much, you know, the whole, the whole Nirvana and grunge thing sort of took over and... This was like, uh, it's like alt-rock before alt-rock was a thing. Alternative rock. I think if you like the Foo Fighters, you might like Ned's Atomic Dust Ben. Like, it's not heavy, but it's not light either. And they had, um, a ge genuinely good songs. This, this is one of those albums. I'll get to the cables in a second, but I, like, I love this album. Uh, this is one of these albums where pretty much every song on it is good, and they sample Die Hard at the end, so it's never a bad thing. Now, uh, Ned's is somewhat relevant because they're from the UK, or, or at least I think they are. And so are these cables, which were sent to the show by Rob at Retro Gaming Cables in the UK. And um, I'll be testing these, these out with the Frame Meister and the PlayStation 5, also known as the MSX, uh, because you need this, this cable to Use the MSX and SCART with uh, the X. Or, yeah, that. So you need these cables. I'll explain it in greater detail later, but let's see if they work. And uh, Rob, thanks for sending the inserts, by the way. I appreciate that. Okay, so I have plugged this in the 21 pin to XRGB Mini, um, which goes into the Frame Meister here, and I'll turn the Frame Meister on. And into that is the SCART cable from the MSX computer, also known as the PlayStation 5. I'm going to play some Zorni Exarian 2. Alright? So, SCART from the MSX into the adapter. And the adapter also plugs into the USB port on the Frame Meister. TV is on. Frame Meister is on. And the MSX computer is now, wait till this gets up on screen, on. Hello. Alright, let's get a signal. There it is. So it, it does work. But look, look how crisp that image is from the screen. So let's start a game here. Not going to be able to play it well since I'm using the phone at the same time, but... Really sharp visuals there. That's right. That's what happens when you don't actually uh, use the controller. You just get blown up. But you can go left to right. So as you can see, this works perfectly. Uh, it's a great solution. Retro gaming cables out of the UK.
It's not an inexpensive solution when you add in the Framemeister and all the cables that you're going to need, but it does look really good. And I'll be giving us a full review soon with numerous games. But here's the exciting part of um, this video, for a lot of you at least. I'm going to take this stuff to the Space Arcade and hook up the ZX Spectrum for the first time. That I have not done yet with this cable. So it works with the MSX. Let's see if it works with the ZX Spectrum. And uh, thank you for the overlays, by the way, Rob, at RetroGamingCables.co.uk. You gotta win, don't get paranoid, only champions play Arkanoid. Hopefully you've seen that review on the film. Now, here's the moment of truth. Framemeister and ZX Spectrum. We get this thing to work. Let's find out. Plug this thing in. So what I'm doing is taking the SCART output from the Sinclair and plugging it into the 21 pin to XRGB and the Framemeister. And I think these are two competing cable companies from the UK. So if all goes well, they should start pouring cask ale for me, which would be lovely. I like this. If you look in the back of this one. Ah, oh, yeah. I would like some Theakstons, please. Let's turn this guy on here. Framemeister on, awesome steering wheel and racing seat, I guess not being used at the moment, but the, uh, oh, the ZX Spectrum is up and running, all right. So do we go with some uh, checkered flag for today, or another game I really like, Enduro Racer. I'm going to try Enduro Racer this time. Let's give Enduro Racer a spin, so to speak. Man, if this thing works, I'm going to be so happy. Can't wait to review some ZX Spectrum games. And then just call it the ZX Spectrum to infuriate most of you watching. Whoa! Look at this! We've got a game! I don't know about you, but I hope it makes this sound every time I start a game. For all I know, I did something wrong. Uh, this is the first time, the second time I've actually started a ZX Spectrum, so. Sounds like it's dialing NORAD. This is like war games. Yes, I would like to play a game of Enduro Racer. You see this? It's like a doomsday clock. While it's loading, I'm gonna clean the Super Pac-Man and Missile Command screens. Made the screen extra clear so I can win it. Super Pac-Man later, one of my absolute favorite games. I love Super Pac-Man. It works! Thank you, John, in Dublin, for the ZX Spectrum. Thank you to Rob from the UK for the 21 pin adapter thing. And thank you to the Free Moisture for just being awesome. Meisting frames one frame at a time. I don't actually know how to use this. Um, I, can we just... Sinclair left? I, what does that mean? I guess keyboard. Wait, what button? <laughs> what does what? Does this have WASD controls? No. Let's all have a good laugh at the incompetent American trying to use a ZX Spectrum. Seriously though, I encourage laughter. I, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh! 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 The Q button! The Q button makes it go quickly! How do you steer? It's O and P, everyone! O goes left! And P goes right. It's like Ocean Pacific. Yes! Enduro Racer in effect! Except I forgot to bring my camera mount today, so you'll just have to take my word on it. I'm playing Enduro Racer when I stop recording this. ZX Spectrum reviews on Classic Game Room. So, once again, thank you, John. 
for the uh, ZX Spectrum. If you're going to buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Now prepare for the Lord Carnage Club where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano! Derek Langley. Beer is the trick. Steven Chucknick. From New Jersey. Michael Fernandez. People not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez. Al Stiver. Jason, 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 Jason from British Columbia. Philip Straubenmuller from Vienna, Austria. Austria. Cue the thunder. Jeff, Captain Dauntless, Briar. Cue the lava. I don't know what lava sounds like. It sounds like this. Jack Stavris from Australia. Oh, hi, Cunny. Master of Thunder. Chip Sankvale, Fighter of Space Bees! Woo! Rick DeBarros gets the extra disco. Michael and Ariana Nelson! Fighters of the future! That's enough disco, because now it's time to shout Busy Signal! That's right, and keep the volume loud and the party rocking for Sean Zoltek. Really? No. Sean Zoltek! Sergio Matthias Hergert! Tubular! Will! Will! Will? Will? Will! Will.